good morning. Welcome to day three of uh, my 21 day vlog challenge. So um, yeah, okay, so you just watched that. We did got nothing done last night that we had planned to get done and our house is still a Christmas disaster. <laughs> so we are going to attempt to clean up today. Um, I just had a timer set for, um, we're also potty training Jason today. So um, we gotta go get him to sit on the, on the potty. Um, so we're gonna be mostly in our playroom today and then um, we'll also be cleaning up and organizing toys in there, so. Alrighty, let's do this. Okay, so sure, you can play with it. Okay, I am in our laundry room. I'm going to set you down here real quick. Maybe, possibly. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, we're gonna talk about laundry. Okay, so first, talk about Tide Pods. These, I don't normally use Tide Pods. Uh, I just use regular detergent with all the stuff. So, um, but I use Tide Pods for athletic clothes, for the sports because it really does help with the odor. Um, you know, you can wash your workout clothes so often and your clothes just start smelling. So I have about a, like a large load and sorry, I had to close the door so it's gonna be a little echoey. So for large loads, it says to use two pods. Um, so what I'm gonna do, so I just throw in two pods in the bottom. This is not a sponsored video. This is just a very, very happy customer um, who um, had stinky workout clothes. So I'm sure there's like more natural things out there for sports clothing and getting odor out, but that's just what I do. And then I have an active wear wash on my um on my washers so anyway okay done with that that is in the wash now um we're going to go ahead and start those chocolate chip cookies that i talked about making oh so long ago <laughs> aka yesterday so i'm going to go ahead and get all the ingredients together and i'm going to start making those okay i'm back and I probably have to change the battery out here pretty soon because it looks like it's gonna be low, or it's getting really low. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't die in the middle of this. I just had the most epic fail. Um, I messed up those cookies. Look, I got chocolate all over my pot holder. So we are potty training our son, and he's doing so well. This is the second time we've tried to potty train him like officially. And this, it's going so much better. The first time we were like forcing it and he just wasn't ready. So um, he was telling me he had to go to the bathroom. And so I just quickly grabbed him and threw him on here and totally messed him up, which I am okay with because we have that extra dough from earlier. So I can just eat those two cookies and replace them with the extra dough. Now this is the dough from last week and it's a little hard, which, I don't know why I didn't think it was gonna get hard, so I'm set it out to maybe get to room temperature so I can break it apart and put it into cookies. Okay, I gotta clean up this whole mess. I just made my other son a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because he was starving. Um, you know, there's no rules this week. We're just going with the flow. He didn't really eat lunch. Um, he fell asleep before lunch. So, um, and then he didn't take a, as long of a nap because he was hung, he woke up hungry. So, but then I, when I tried to give him food, he didn't really want to eat. He just had like a pouch thing. And so anyway, he was starving. So he's finished now. So I think I'm going to give him some other snacky foods. And then I got to figure out what we're doing for dinner because I have no idea. I hear you. Okay. So I'm going to go figure that out and change the battery. Okay. So I was 
taste testing my broken chocolate chip cookie. It's delicious. Um, so, I still have these left over. I really don't want to smush them, but, mm, see, they're not quite ready to be packaged, but kind of on a time crunch. I think I can get one more. Okay. I think that should work. Not smushed. There's at least a dozen in there, if not more. Okay, so for dinner tonight, uh, we just kept it simple with sandwiches, chips, and some mac and cheese. You okay over there? <coughs> <laughs> All right, yep. So that's what we're doing for dinner. Super simple. Okay, so both boys are asleep. And Jeremy and I are going to, we are going to finish the toys tonight. We have to. We have to. So we take you to give you a look at what's going on here. My plan is to take all the toys out of this room. We have them, of course, on the floor. And then there's some in that bed. And then there's some in this basket. So we're going to take all of those. Oh, we're doing this basket too? This one, yes. Oh, all this one? Yes, all of those. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to take them into our front room over there, the playroom, and just go through them all and figure out what we're keeping and what is staying. Um, what we're keeping and what is staying? What we're keeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, what I meant was oh. what we're going to keep but put away, but versus what's going to stay for them to play. That rhymed. Um,. I want to do a rotation of toys, so we're not really getting rid of much, but that it's not all here crowded, crowding our space. So, anyway, I gotta, I'm gonna help Jeremy. He's doing all the work right now. Yep. <laughs> okay, we will check back with you in a minute. Okay, we are in here, ready to go. He left your phone in there. <clears throat> Um, all right, so here is what we're dealing with. All of this that I sorted through earlier today, all messed up. So cool. It's what kids do. Yep, Jeremy's going to take apart the train table. That way we can get free up some more space, and we've got a game plan for that. All right, we're going to start a time lapse so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I think we're pretty much finished um, with the purge and organizing and all of that. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we have done so far. Um, of course, what's behind me, this big table right here has food and lots of other random junk will need to be cleaned up, but that will be at another time. Okay. So, and then these two bins right here, this one and that one will go into the living room. All of these are what we call Sabbath toys and they'll go in that closet right there. Um, and I'll explain what Sabbath toys are a little later. Okay, so, and this is all the random crap I still need to figure out what to do with. So, here we are. We have, um, so this is trash toys toys that are trash. There we go. That's the disassembled train table and all the train pieces. Okay. Here we have the Mickey play set, which they actually play with. I mean, they played with it today. And then we have all of our books and a puppets in their bins. We separated all of them. So I always like to have um, a different category of toys. So like instruments and blocks. Um, they don't really play with those regularly, but I like to keep them out constantly because like during when everyone was home and all that, we used that, those to like count and to learn colors. And so it's just a good like learning these just plain wooden blocks are good learning tools. Okay. Here are all the, like the wooden toys. 
Um, this is all of the like V Tech cars, and those are the wooden bricks. Um, and then, um, like I said, those are the puppets. And then in here, we had kind of had a hard time trying to figure out what we were going to do in here, but we decided that we would go ahead and just combine them all. They were all kind of the same category. So it's these like little people sets. I had all of these separated by like Disney. And then I was trying to separate like the new ones. This is the Farmer Girl. And then there's also like plastic dinosaurs that they got for their birthday and, a sh you know, sharks. So there's like another random dinosaur um and then we have like you know rex and daisy these aren't really little people but they do go with this well i guess it is little people um the little magic kingdom set there so i just decided to go ahead and keep all of those pieces together and they do fit nicely in this one container and then another thing that we had a hard time this way we ended up throwing away a bunch of stuff is this is the random toy category so these are the like most well played um like happy meal toys like this you know um and then there's also these like little soft toys everything in here is just random they play with this oddly amounts of times um so i always like to keep a bin of random stuff although this is pretty full so i'm not sure how much more random stuff we can put in there okay and i'm also OCD because i don't like the labels to show i mean i'm sure i could peel them off and it wouldn't matter but i'm just oopsie turn around <laughs> um i probably could fit another one of those over there i have another one of more of these same wooden stuff but i went ahead and um, we called it archived <laughs> i went ahead and archived it because i don't necessarily think we need to especially with that huge bucket of train stuff over there there's just no need for it okay here is our ball pit hudson loves it i wanted to get rid of it or thought about it to like make more room for some other toys but that's fine okay Moving on to over here. This is stuff that hasn't changed, really. Um, I haven't gone through these. I probably could, and I do every once in a while, but I just haven't recently. Um, and I don't know. I'm, I have a hard time getting getting rid of like like stuffy stuff. Okay. I don't know why Spider Man is in there, but it's fine. We have all of our random, random um, stuffed animals, mainly Disney ones. And then there's this really cushy um, little like reading nook pillow. Um, okay, and then over here, you saw those plastic bags. It had all of these mega blocks. I went ahead and grabbed one of these felt buckets to put those in, but they didn't all fit. So some of them came over here in this Tonka truck, uh, uh, John Deere tractor, which isn't visually appealing. And I would hope, I was hoping that all of them would fit in that bucket. Um, but some of them are part of like, there's like that Thomas train set and there is a bag for that and I could separate it, but I didn't. So I'm just going to live with it for now. It's fine. There, it's just random. Okay. Now in here are all of the toys they got for Christmas. So they got a bunch of little people sets, the farm one, the airplane, the bus, and then they got these two things for Christmas as well. And then this little car garage. I didn't want to overstuff this. So all of the things that were on that shelf went into here and they fit really nicely and they play with these things pretty regularly. So I wasn't ready to archive those. Okay. Then we have his F-150 fire truck and the mega Bulk pickup thing. And then we went ahead and put all the kitchen stuff there. What? Okay, put all the kitchen stuff there. His little cleaning set because yes, he actually does play with his cleaning set. His toolbox, your tool table. And then we have over here, 
This is more transportation stuff. Another felt. This has all of their like cars like that. This is his Thomas train set and um, <clears throat> the VTAC car thing because we did decide to keep the VTAC cars. Okay. Okay. That's it. We did it. So I'm going to move these other toys into the, um, the living room. I think tomorrow I will um, attempt to switch out their laundry, which will make me be in their rooms, which I know that they have some toys in there that need it. They don't keep toys in their room, but I know that they've like taken toys in there. Um, you know, when we get them dressed or whatever. So I think I'm going to go through and see if I can find some of the missing toys that we have um, that I know that are missing and then and then switch out their sizes. So Hudson's been in 18 months for a long time. Uh, I think he has pretty much switched over. I think I need to do uh, Jason. He needs to switch over to three months stuff and or three, three T stuff and I haven't. Oh, I just haven't done it yet. Um, so I know I need to get that done tomorrow. That way I can like put their, because they've just been living out of, we've been getting clean clothes out of baskets and we don't have very many laundry basket, baskets. So it's actually put a hamper, a damper on, um, what, on like my laundry routine because I don't have my normal baskets. So, um, anyway, <laughs> Uh, so that's what we'll probably do tomorrow. So I am actually pretty proud of ourselves. It did, it took us like not even an hour to do all that. So take that long. So, okay. Hmm. What else? I think that's it. I think I'm going to end the vlog here and we'll pick up tomorrow. Um, so, oh, potty training. So we potty, we started potty training today with Jason and he did phenomenal um, after we just let him run around in under or in naked, he didn't have underwear on. He had underwear on uh, this morning and he had three accidents back to back to back. So I, um, so I just decided to let him run around without underwear and he always went to the bathroom, um, which was awesome. And then after nap time, or quiet time, I was like, okay, let's try underwear again. And he had two accidents, but both of them were in the bathroom because, and he was trying to get his, his underwear down. So, um, I think we'll try again tomorrow. No underwear. I know I feel a little bit more relaxed and confident that he's going to be able to like get to the bathroom and use the bathroom. And then we'll try underwear again tomorrow afternoon. Um, so I think the thing is, is like, he's not wanting us to go in there with him. He wants to go and do it himself, um, but he's having a hard time pulling down his underwear. So I think we'll be adamant about going in there and helping him pull down his underwear. And that way he can, um, feel confident in that. And then hopefully we can move on to clothes on Wednesday <laughs> where we can just fully get him dressed and underwear and pants and that he will be able to go to the bathroom on his own. It's been a lot. <laughs> it's been a lot. So I have been talking entirely way too long and um, I'm ready to go relax. It's 10 p.m. So uh, tomorrow we'll pick up with the potty training and I will do laundry and I'll take you along for all of that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you are enjoying are the series um i think tomorrow i'll be filming on a different camera so hopefully that works out well for me and i think that's it all right i hope you guys have a great day